Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time again for a thrift store score video. And today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from the summer of 2022. Let's start off with books and magazines. Got a couple 70s issues of DC's Justice League America. This 1974 issue pits the Star Spangled Kid against Santa Claus. <laughs> And this 1979 issue has a pretty cool Fruit Stripe gum advertisement, as well as an ad for a Daisy 840 BB gun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. And I got this August 1971 issue of Life Magazine, with one of my favorite actresses, Anne Margaret, on the cover. Big success for the sex kitten. Ooh, how kinky. All right, let's move on to the category of miscellaneous. I got 29 postage stamps. These are from all over the world, but they either show various animals or space exploration and rockets. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I got a Pokemon pencil and a Pokemon wallet. Pretty cool. We got number five and number nine. Who's that Pokemon? A couple old pins, one from the Bicentennial, and Booby. That is wild. I found some vintage Snoopy paper lunch bags. Still has the Eckerd 87 cent price tag on them. These little kids from around the world cards came from boxes of Cracker Jack. And there's two jumbo comic cards. They're not for mailing. Laugh it up with How to Housebreak Your Dog and I thought you said this drink would knock my hat off. <laughs> I got some 1990s Pittsburgh postcards and a Pittsburgh Scapes Center City Tour Guide. And from July 11, 2006, here's a commemorative coin from PNC Park. There were only 25,000 of these made. That's rare. Here's something rad. A ticket stub from the Who's concert at Three Rivers Stadium on July 16, 1989. Excellent! Okay, let's check out my audio scores. I got 13 more CDs. John Coltrane, Neil Young, Dave Davies, The Kinks, The Stranglers, The Iron City House Rockers, Pretty Girls Make Graves, Sunny Day Real Estate, Sleater Kinney, Music from the 80s, Duran Duran, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, and Huey Lewis in the News, but this has the wrong CD in it. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. I got one 8-track, Red Fox's Pass the Apple, Eve. You big dummy! 16 new cassettes. I got Sammy Hagar, Paul McCartney, Aldo Nova, Don Henley, Blackfoot, Rush, Jimi Hendrix, The Honey Drippers, Led Zeppelin, Dread Zeppelin, XTC, Daryl Hall, The Ventures, this 1991 Kellogg's Pop-Tarts single by Keedy. Yeah, remember her? and two cassettes on alternative tentacles by Lard and the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> I like it. And I found this old Sertron tape that's actually an audio letter from a friend or relative. I hate to start a tape by apologizing, but I think it's something I should do. We received your tape in February, and here it is, the 7th of July, and I'm just getting back to you, but that's one of the reasons I just haven't gotten around to getting his recorder fixed, so the fellow at work has a Craig radio with a billion uh, cassette player recorder, and that's what I'm using to make this tape. And I got the records Let It Be and Come Together by The Beatles, Mighty Quinn by Manfred Mann, Dust in the Wind by Kansas, and I Was Made for Loving You by Kiss. Why don't we start this examination just a little bit early? And I got these two records that were recorded at home by someone in 1940. I wonder if these will still play. Let's move on from audio to video. I got 45 DVDs and five more Blu-rays. On Blu-ray, I got The Lion King, Mad Men Season 2, A Quiet Place, Avengers Endgame, and Fast Five. <laughs> On DVD, I got 80s stuff, An Officer and a Gentleman, Big Business, Best Friends, Imagine, Graffiti Bridge, The Mikado, 
and Silverado. <laughs> Kid Stuff, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, the animated series. And you're a good sport, Charlie Brown. <laughs> TV Stuff, Teen Wolf Season 1, Ip Man Season 1, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea Season 1, Volume 1, ALF Season 3, but it's missing two of the discs, The Carol Burnett Show, three different Saturday Night Live DVDs, and Baby for Sale. <laughs> Comedies, National Lampoon's TV the Movie, and Mixed Nuts. Action Movies, Green Lantern, Crooked, Eastern Promises, The Young Master, The Bodyguard, Seven Swords, The Spirited Killer Trilogy, and Shaolin and Wu-Tang 2, Wu-Tang Invasion. My Tiger Kung Fu is better than yours. Horror movies, The Raven, The Nest, Gremlins 2, House on Haunted Hill, Die Mommy Die, Green River Killer, and Fear. And the classics. I got this 20th Century Fox Leading Men Collection box set. 15 movies, and I only already had one of them. Plus Snow White and Three Stooges, Best Foot Forward, Till the Clouds Roll By, All the King's Men, Laura, a bunch of 40s and 50s jungle movies, All the President's Men, and Convoy. That's a 10-4, good buddy. And I got three VHS tapes. They were between 50 and 80 cents each. The 1967 action film The Dirty Dozen in a deluxe MGM gatefold box. The colorized version of the 1951 sci-fi movie The Thing. And here's a rare find, the 1994 cult movie Tammy and the T-Rex on Imperial Home Video. <laughs> Let's check out the last category now and that is toys and games. I got some more video games. For Xbox One I got Destiny. For the PS2 I got Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader and Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. For the original PlayStation, I got Big Air and The Phantom Menace. For Nintendo DS, I got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. For the Wii, I got Despicable Me the Game. And for the GameCube, I got Rocky, Rocket Power Beach Bandits, and Spider-Man 2. But best of all, I got Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout for the Nintendo NES, still in the original box, and it was only $2.99. That's 2002 prices. Yeah, baby! And I got some trading cards. Eight Pokemon cards, one is Pocket Monsters. The promotional Hunger Games Catching Fire trading card set from Lionsgate Entertainment. This 1992 Bun Candy Mario Lemieux card. And two original 1989 wrappers from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards from Topps. Still has the 39 cent Woolworths price tags. Cowabunga! I got seven more mini brands. A 1994 Cabbage Patch Kids Angel figurine a 1984 television from a Barbie dollhouse, and this 1983 Smurf with an apple for the number one teacher. <laughs> and now it's time for the find of this haul. It's a 1983 Darth Vader tray puzzle from Craftmaster. I remember how Return of the Jedi stuff was everywhere back then. It's so cool to finally have this. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $20. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift store haul from the summer of 2022. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. So, like I said, we'll see you soon. Hopefully next year we're not going to promise, but we're going to try. I'm signing off now for, for 